Hey, welcome back guys. Um, on this video, uh, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to work on this uh, skateboard, which is uh, kind of a sunset and uh, some gold leaf stuff uh, that I'm going to try. Um, and I will take, I will talk also about hardware for airbrush, air compressor. So let's go back to that. So here is a new, uh, a new airbrush compressor that I, I bought. Um, I always used a big 60 gallon compressor and a small, smaller bow stitch Home Depot compressor, you know, but very, very noisy. So I decided to invest since, you know, I like to do some stuff uh, at my home and I don't want something that is too noisy. So I went on a spray gunner Spraygunner.com. Uh, so this is an online shop. Uh, they have a shop on um, Amazon, eBay, and you can, you know, go straight to their shop. They have a lot of airbrush uh, stuff. Uh, they have maybe hundreds of, you know, different airbrush. And when it comes to airbrush compressors, they have so many different models, smaller or a little bigger, and so it's a very, very cool compressor. As you can see, um, there is uh, the two holder on top for the, the airbrush. Uh, there is a water trap and there is also uh, that knob that is on top to adjust the pressure, the air pressure. So that's pretty, pretty neat. And I, I really like the fact that it has a handle so you can carry it if you go from you know one place to another it's very easy um and and the noise is is ridiculous so see, see, so you can still hear me talking and you know. so yeah to adjust the pressure you have to lift that big black uh you know knob and you go uh, you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise clockwise to adjust the, the air pressure you want and this is um, the water trap you have you can push if you see some water in it uh you can push that little you know uh valve on the bottom to release the water um but overall very very pleased with, with that unit it's about you know 180 bucks something like that so it's not it's not very cheap but if you do a lot of airbrush inside you know it's it's <laughs> the, the the sound level the noise level is very comfortable you know you can walk all day with that uh, with a regular compressor that will become a little bit annoying so on this particular one, they, they have that two-way uh, switch. Uh, usually, I mean, they, they really say you should use only the number one uh, because there is uh, the safety switch that start and stop the compressor when it's full of air. If you put it on the mode number two, the compressor will constantly run, and they say that uh, it's. Um, it can be good if you need a, a, a big, you know, a longer uh, burst of, of hair, but you may burn the, the motor and it will not be covered by the warranty. So uh, something to, uh, to think about. So here I started to spray some, um, some colors, you know, to try to do some kind of a sunset. Um, and I, I put some frisky papers to do the sun. So. Uh, we're gonna try some stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm excited about uh, that new airbrush. It's very different to use. Um, but again, on the spray gunner, they have the same kind of airbrush with uh, the trigger. So and they have a bunch of, starting at 30 bucks to uh, 300 bucks. Here I'm applying some, uh, some black after I cut the, the form on a, on a frisky paper. And um, as you can see, there is really nothing really complicated. Um, I put the paper on my uh, computer screen and with a pen, a pencil, I went around all the shape 
and uh, and then I, I stick it on a, on the board and I cut, you know, cut off the shape that needed to be painted. Uh, I did the same thing for for the sun, uh, and you can do it for anything, you know. So. Exacto knife will be something you will need uh, definitely to do the, the precise cut and even to, to help you remove the, the tape or to do some cut and tape. Um, that's, that's very practical. Again, to talk about uh, paint, I, I get all my paint also uh, candy and paint. Uh, Createx Candy 2.0. Uh, first time I ordered some, it was on uh, on eBay, and it happened. It was from you know um, spray gunner on eBay, and I didn't know. And this is it was my first order. Price was very very fair, and since it was in uh, in Florida, you know it was. And being living in Florida, the, the shipping was very quick too. Um, so I got all my uh, my candy from there, and then I discovered the website, and I, I saw all the stuff they have. Uh, they, they do have a lot of stuff for airbrush. So um, if if you're interested in uh, in airbrushing, you should you should look at their website because it's um, it's a it's kind of a gold mine. <laughs> uh, they, they have everything. So very interesting. So now we are back. Um, I apply the, the gold leaf and now what I want to do again, it's on both sides of each gold leaf, I want to apply some black paint. So I was thinking if I put the tape straight on a gold leaf, I might, you know, take the leaf away when I remove the tape. So I was thinking I'm going to try to spray uh, the Createx uh, 40 30 that you can see uh, on the top of the screen uh, they call it balancing clear um, it's still kind of a water base that they say but you know uh, i'm still gonna try to spray some over the leaf and let it dry and uh, and then when it dry i will put the tape over it and and see you know if it act as a normal clear coat if it protects protect the, the, the leaf entirely so that's gonna be a, a test uh, <laughs> let's see how that works so here it's after spraying the, the 40 30 they are balancing clear 
Uh, I'm gonna let it dry for maybe half an hour, an hour, and uh, after that I will put the tape on a on a leaf. So here we go. Uh, I taped the leaf. Uh, I put the, the black in a airbrush, and I'm gonna, you know, paint those uh, those two lines so it will highlight the the, the leaf. So let's remove the tape and see. Okay, yeah, well, a, a little piece of, uh, of leaf, but I think it was, you know, some leaf that was where we are on top of, you know, the other leaf uh, when I applied it. So no, you can see nothing is missing right there. So I think everything is good. Uh, if this is something uh, I will uh, I will do again. Um, uh, I'm not sure this is not the best practice. I think the best best practice will be to anticipate the the black line, the outline of the of the leaf. Uh, that's what people do mostly. They anticipate the the shade or you know uh, the black shade and they paint it prior. So this is something to to keep in mind. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet, and uh, see you in the next video.